welcome back to another video here at NBA Addict TV where we provide the latest NBA content on the tube. Before we get started, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot growing the channel. Okay, so I want you guys to hear it here first. The Orlando Magic will shock the world, and here's why. The Orlando Magic have made the playoffs the last two years and have been first round exits year after year. This team consists of a mix of veterans like Aaron Gordon, Terrence Ross, Nikola Vucevic, and Evan Fournier, and also a mix of solid young talented players like Markel Fultz, Mo Bamba, and Jonathan Isaac. But now, in this year's draft, they got Cole Anthony with that 15th pick. Cole Anthony was the second highest ranked prospect in high school prior to his freshman year at North Carolina. You may be asking, well, if he was ranked second in high school, why did his draft stock fall so low? Whoa, whoa, hang in there, little Jimmy. We will get there, but first, let's check out his high school career. For the first three years of his high school career, Anthony attended Archbishop Malloy High School. He was the first freshman ever to immediately start for Malloy, and his coach even said that he was the best point guard he has seen at his age since Stephen Marbury. Cole had averaged 16.9 points per game and 6.7 rebounds per game in his freshman season, and through the years at Malloy, Anthony has made tremendous steps to solidify himself as the top guard in the nation. Anthony then transferred to Oak Hill for his senior year of high school. His senior season, he had averaged 18.5 points, 10.2 rebounds, and 10.2 assists on 47 field goal shooting and 36% from three. That had propelled his ranking, making him the second best prospect in the nation, right behind James Wiseman. He later then committed to North Carolina University, and in his first game against Notre Dame, Cole Anthony dropped 34 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. Cole's first game was electrifying, and he was set to have an astounding college career career but then Cole Anthony had a right knee injury where he tore his meniscus he was just never the same that's what ultimately dropped his draft stock and landed him on the Orlando Magic at the 15th pick in my opinion this was the best thing that could happen Cole is a thrilling player to watch and he has the foundation to be the star point guard that this organization has desperately needed the Orlando Magic has not seen such a prolific guard since Tracy McGrady and with the growth of Markel Fultz he will pair well with Cole to be their backcourt of the future, along with the further development of Jonathan Isaac who is currently rehabbing from a torn ACL, as well as the increasingly implementing Mobamba into the rotation, and the box office attraction that is Aaron Gordon who is only 25 years old. This team has been headed in the right directions for the last couple years, and I believe they will shock the entire world. You may be asking, but NBA, the East got better this year, with the Hawks, Wizards, Sixers, and even the Nets getting better, there's no chance that the Magic are legit contenders. Whoa, whoa, wait a goddamn minute, buddy. You might be right, but the fact that no one is taking this team serious may be their biggest strength. Now let's make you guys believers. In their first game of the season, the Magic beat the team that represented the East in the finals this year, the Miami Heat. With every game played, Markel Fultz looks like the young man at Washington that was drafted number one overall. Nikola Vucevic is a legit all-star that can score from outside. He has a post game as well as being a legit all-around scorer. Terrence Ross comes off the bench with immense energy to give instant offense from anywhere on the court. They don't call him Human Torch for nothing. Now, Evan Gordon is a one-of-a-kind athlete when it comes to his athleticism. He is a constant lob threat as well as being a nightmare guarding him in the low post. Let's not forget he can shoot from the outside, although it may not be at a high clip, but it is in the works. Evan Fournier is a solid two guard that can get you buckets, although he may not be as consistent as he needs to be. But Fournier did average a career high in points last year, shooting 40% from three point range. Just being 28 years old, we should look to see even more improvement there. Now Cole Anthony is going to be the game changer for this team. Last year they had DJ Augustine as their main ball handler, now with Fultz fully in control of the point guard position. Now bringing in some young talent and a player like Cole with a chip on his shoulder, expect him to play like he has something to prove. He heard all the talk when he fell to that 15th spot and he is ready to put all haters on notice. I would also like to see Mo Bamba get more minutes because it doesn't look like the Magic have a legit rim protector, but Steve Clifford must know something that we 
we don't. Alright guys, if you made it to the end, I appreciate all you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're an NBA addict. And turn on post notifications to not miss a single video. I appreciate y'all boys and girls. Have a very, very Merry Christmas.